Hey traders, Akil Stokes here from the ForexMarketPreview.com, Six Figure Syndicate. Uh, between Jason and I, it seems like we've been putting out a lot of videos lately, so I wanted to do something a little different and uh, give you a little freebie as well. Um, first, I want to start off by, by looking at something we talked about Monday. Um, and right here, this, I'm just on the, the Facebook page for uh, the Triple Threat Trading uh, Ratio Room group. Uh, I'll probably put a link under if you want to want to join and add to some trade discussion but on Monday I posted this um, it was a trade possibility on pound CAD uh, didn't have time to do a video uh, so I decided just hey put it up on the Facebook group page I think I put it up on a few other sites I thought it'd be a good opportunity uh, just looking at the chart seeing structure 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 and the market coming up into that structure level uh, not to mention a 3d2 retracement and we fast forward a few days later and we'll see that uh, this pair did a, a beautiful job of rolling over um, about almost about 100 pips now there still is opportunity to get involved if you're looking to get short we may have some type of advanced pattern setting up that comes back up and retest this level um, we may just come back and retest level retest this level and get maybe a 2618 uh, or a structure based trade or maybe even a kiss of death um, but the one thing to be to, uh, be concerned with is we didn't we didn't break this structure level so in, until we break past this uh, this last recent low if I can get my thing working there we go a little slow this morning until we get below this last uh, recent move there's no reason for me to think that the market basically won't continue to, to go up now we may channel inside here for a little bit before it breaks out one way or another um, but until we break here I'm, I'm not thinking to the downside but just want to recap that and say good job for you traders that took that I got a couple emails a couple messages on Facebook uh, saying that they they gotten this yesterday and, and got some pretty good pips out of it um, so congrats on that and uh, pat yourself on the back for that one traders next I want to look at the Aussie dollar uh, I did a video on this yesterday for the syndicate members about a 2618 trade on here again we were looking at uh, the recent market structure or I'll do a brief version of it. We're looking at this level right here. Looking at this level of consolidation, the market rolled over, came back up to retest before dropping down. And I mentioned uh, a couple places for targets. You give that first targets down here, 101.56, um, or maybe at the 127 extension. But one place to be concerned about was a. Uh, one place I would want to be concerned about, there's a 618 that comes in there too, if we uh, bring this here. There we go, 618. Um, this was the area where I would definitely, if not have uh, trail stops on, at least first targets taken out at this area, just because this is the most recent, uh, well, this is the next structure level to be hit after breaking these lows, as well as we're right around a 127 extension from this leg down, as, as well as a, a 618 retracement from the move up. So if you haven't gotten first targets off now, um, I would take them off. If not, at least move stops to, to break even, and that way you, you keep yourself out of taking any type of loss on this trade. Now there's uh, another possibility on this trade, too, if you're looking for even more advanced targets. We actually have a bat pattern for me. If I take my Fibonacci retracement tool and I bring in my 886, we'll see that we have an X to A, A to B, B to C, and C to D. So again, if you're trailing stops, there's another possibility down here to, to put in a stop and reverse, get your final targets off from this move down, which would have been about uh, 102.74, 102.74, about 240 pips maybe. I'm, I'm not good with math, but looks like about 240 pips and then playing this bad boy right back up on a bat pattern completion let me just draw on a line to see uh, my first time looking at the chart today so you gotta give me some time yeah not a I'll have to ask more data it looks like there there might be a structure level here as well at the completion of that bat pattern so we'll see now a few new things I want to look at was uh, since we're speaking to bats euro yen potential bat pattern forming uh, pretty soon not the prettiest one in the world but 
we do have our 886 comes down here at 99 or 9630. I'd probably hop in this a little earlier, just seeing how um, the close of these candles at our structure level come in about 9644. So I'd probably be about uh, 15, 20 pips aggressive on this trade. But again, offering a very good risk reward opportunity. As always with, uh, with bat patterns, any of these advanced patterns, stops need to go below X. So stops can be down here. Targets, um, at minimum, could be right here at our B-leg uh, structure level. So we're looking at, just measuring out, you're looking at about, yeah, definitely more than a one-to-one -one risk reward ratio. And again, you can shoot for advanced targets. And we'll probably worry about that when we get up there. We can shoot for advanced targets up near our 127 inversion. Lastly, uh, Trader brought this up on the syndicate about a potential butterfly forming on dollar Swiss, and we're looking at an X to A, A to B, B to C, C to D completion somewhere in, in between here between 98.40 and 98.68, so uh, basically at market right now. Um, one thing you want to be concerned about with this and again, I'm not a, I'm not the biggest fan of butterflies in the world, so I'm I'm very cautious. I have pretty strict rules. Um, one thing I'd be concerned about is this this one dollar even handle. And again, uh, just from my experience in the market, I know that that price action likes to come there is kind of sucked and and drawn to these even numbers. And also lining up that even handle, we have past structure here, past structure there and past structure here. So if you're uh, if you're interested in, in trading this butterfly, this is just something to be concerned about. Um, I would definitely want to have stops above this even handle at one dollar. Um, or you just might want to be a little a little more cautious on this trade. Say pass up on the butterfly and and wait to get to this uh, wait to the, wait to get to this level and wait for maybe another advanced pattern or a, a double top or a, a three bar reversal or what have you. Any of the entry techniques that uh, you know that you guys use. So that's it. Want to keep it quick, nice and short. Um, again, want to offer a nice free video for you guys, just because I feel like the the syndicate's been uh, getting getting some pretty good calls. You know, um, I think Jason had two calls earlier this month that made over 300 pips. That Aussie made over 200 already. So we're looking at 500 pips plus for the the month already, and we just uh, not even halfway through. So appreciate you guys listening to me. Um, Take care, good luck, good trading as Jason would say, and hopefully I'll see you guys in the syndicate, and live remembers, I'll see you in a couple hours. Take care.